So a couple of days ago, I decided to change my laptop, a Lenovo IdeaPad Y700, which was an amazing piece of technology as long as it lasted. I decided to change it with a tower PC. Unfortunately, I ended up in having to wait a little bit more, which wasn't really what I hoped for, but it is what it is, I guess it happened. Now, given the fact that I still had to you know, sort out different stuff and pretty much work from something. And I needed that feeling, you know, the actual uh, way of working with traditionally on a big monitor that we have over there, uh, also with uh, a keyboard and a mouse. Um, I ended up in using from Samsung and I'm powering this with the Samsung Galaxy S10. Um, the new Samsung DeX. Well, it's not really new on the market because it's been there for quite some time but um, I just ended up in using it a little bit more. Um, you can also power your piece, like your TV and stuff like that, so uh, you can actually use it at home. Now, most of you guys spending lots of money on your phones anyway, you may as well um, do something useful with it. If you don't have the money or if you can't really be asked on buying, you know, a, a, a computer and spend even more money on it, with this little phone, you can make it work and I'm gonna show you exactly how. Right, so I got this decking station some time ago. It's from A Logic. Uh, was 130 pounds, like 129, something like that. You're going to connect the phone in here. I'm gonna show you a little bit later on. It's a USB-C type. And what you have on the decking station, pretty much what you actually need if you wanna work, it's gonna be an SD reader, a micro SD reader, if you actually need it. You do have two USBs, as far as you can see here, guys. And here I have the um, mouse and the keyboard. And also you have an USB Type-C. Now, in the back, what you'll have, it's the power outlet in here. It's, again, it's a, a USB-C. You also have internet, um, if you want to plug in a monitor, you know, like the old way, and also this one, it's an HDMI. Uh, so pretty much, I will say this is everything that I needed in this couple of days, uh, and it worked just, uh, uh, just fine. Now, uh, let's see exactly how this little thing, right, the taking station along with the Samsung Galaxy S10 is going to power this baby boy and we can actually do some work. Right, so if you hit, like as an example, the escape key on the keyboard, this is going to be the screen. This is what you're going to see. As you may see, let me change it a little bit. Even though this is an ultra wide monitor, for some weird reason, on Samsung DeX, I can't make it actually be an ultra wide at least on this monitor i've seen it on the internet for some people that actually work and they were able to use um, the um ultra wide option i'm going to show you exactly how to change it potentially guys you will actually have the option to change it um now i will say this is one of the safest ways of turning on your pc given the fact that you'll have to use from here the fingerprint and that will just unlock. If we go to the menu, we're gonna have everything that you have on your phone. Um, you'll see in there all the apps and you will be able to use all of them. Actually, I haven't seen one app that is not working on uh, Dex. Now, first things first, if we go to uh, settings, we should be able to have Samsung Dex over here and we can have quite a few um, settings for Samsung Dex. You can either, you can also use your a phone as an example, uh, as a trackpad, but that's another story. Uh, that's going to be quite useful, uh, I suppose, if you are going to um, have a Samsung Note, so you will be able to actually use that pen. Um, right, so um, the display resolution, usually you are supposed to change it from here, but again, for some weird reason, it seems that I cannot change it to a format of 21 per 9 because uh, realistically this is what I will actually need uh, so I just went for the best option that I got in here which is a 16 per 9 again 
for most of you guys, most probably it won't even matter because a 16 per 9 is gonna get job done and will be just about enough. Now you do have an option on the monitor as an example on this LG, which by the way, you will be able to see uh, the video about this LG in the link that I'm gonna drop below. You do have an option in which you can set the input aspect ratio to full wide, but honestly it's gonna look Everything is gonna look like you know stretched, and you know it's not the best. Uh, it's not the best experience. So I'm just gonna keep it in original. It is what it is. I'm just gonna be able to use what what I can use. Uh, as you can see, actually, which is a good thing, um, the um, Samsung Galaxy uh, S10 to that docking station, even though it's not a Samsung docking station, and honestly, I would recommend you Samsung that docking station because sometimes this one just gets nuts. Um, gives you a 60 hertz which is quite unbelievably good to be honest with you <laughs> browsing now on browsing side um it, it, it looks like this to, to be honest with you it's not uh, honestly it's not really different from the standard browser that you get like on inter uh, internet explorer and stuff like that you can still go on your stuff as go on google.com you have the tops over here at the um you, yeah, you have the tops at the bottom over here and you can jump between them. Let's go on this one on um, Samsung Dex. Just for the sake of, you know, navigating on something. It's quite clear, to be honest with you, it's, and it's quite of a vivid image. Uh, these are the tabs, you can jump between them. I will show you guys also a video on YouTube, um, so you'll see a little bit um, how it looks like. Um, now, to be to be honest with you, it's not like it's the best best you know option out there yet, uh, given the fact that Samsung Dex has its flaws, sort of speaking, and it's a little bit weird jumping from a desktop to um, to the Samsung Dex, but at the same time. You can work with it yeah now uh this is the uh, default internet sort of speaking from samsung uh let's just go ahead and play a video in here it's in 4k right so this is what you can actually uh get it's quite of a good experience, I would say, when you're watching through it. I mean, I don't know exactly how you guys can see it. Uh, most probably it's not going to be the best case scenario, but I can tell you in reality, sort of speaking live, it's a little bit better. So um, you can watch videos, movies and stuff like that, and you're going to be able to take advantage of um, a very good quality, I would say high quality. Again, thinking about the fact that this is a phone that's doing the whole thing, it's just amazing. Now, with Chrome, it's a little bit different because the first time when you are going to use it, this is going to have the actual, um, if you go on YouTube as an example, um, it's just going to, sort of speaking, look like it's on a phone. Uh, so what we want to do will be to change it from here and put it as a desktop site, yeah? So I'll take this one and then the aspect ratio and everything is going to be like on a desktop and you can do whatever you want. It's going to make your life so much easier. All right. So from the settings, you will be able to connect to Wi-Fi and stuff like that. Pretty much um, everything that you do in your phone, just, you know, the logic is the same. The only thing that's going to change is a little bit how it looks. Um, you have all these uh, notifications in here, you have all these settings that you also have on your phone in here, like, you know, uh, turning everything off. Um, you can even use the camera uh, of the phone and um, if you want to do like, I don't know, Skype videos and stuff like that. And let me actually show you. So if you pull up the camera, right? So, if you want to do like sky videos and stuff like that, definitely feel free to use it. Um, you just need a small thingy like this, right? Mount it, 
and you're gonna have a camera in order for you to have like interviews, lives and whatever you need it for. So um, again, a plus, you don't have to spend extra money to buy a webcam or a professional cam or uh, whatever the, the, the thing is. Now, um, going in the actual um, good stuff, um, if you need to use, um, as an example for your company, if you need to use, um, let's go on Google Drive. So Google Drive, there are quite a few companies that they are using either Google Drive or Microsoft Office, you know, the 365 option. Uh, it's up to you and the company you're working for or whatever you're going to use. I'm using both you know, for multiple reasons, uh, and I find them uh, very useful. And um, the good part is that in Drive, you're going to, to have the same desktop experience uh, if you're going to use Google Dex. So I can give you an example. I'm just gonna create something new in here. And it's gonna be a Google spreadsheet, yeah? Or again, you have Microsoft Excel. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I should be able to change this one to yeah, from dark mode. Yeah, it looks a little bit more vivid right now, innit? So, same thing, it looks exactly as it looks on uh, on your computer. Uh, it's giving you that extra speed of having to write something down, making sure your grammar Fine. It's Jean. Wow. So yeah, um, quite useful in that regards. Now, um, again, the whole experience you are going to have overall is like being on your uh, PC. Now there are quite a few unusual things. As an example, if you go in um, internet and if you actually want to open a new tab, so let's say you go on Google and write cars. Now, usually on computer, if you click on the wheel key, like on this wheel on your on your mouse, that's gonna open the new the new tab. Well, obviously in this case it's not gonna happen. So what you're gonna have to do will be to right click, open a new tab. I mean, at the same time, you do have the exact same option on Windows anyway. But again, you're just gonna have to adapt a little bit. You can open a new window. You also have like that secret mode and stuff like that. Um, right, that's good. Now, if you're thinking, um, you know, if you create content and stuff like that, you do have Photo Director uh, by Cyberlink that you can actually use. You have the free version and also the paid version. Um, and you do have quite a few quite a few options to work with. Let's see. Let's take this one. Bixby Vision, whatever this is. It's a photo of I don't even know what photo is this. So you do have options in which you can cut out and stuff like that. Uh, as an example, you can do this. I mean, the options are there, it's just gonna be for you to use them. And this is again for um, people that actually need to edit photos and stuff. So you do have uh, some options to work with until you either get a PC or who knows, maybe you can just use this one. It's not as complicated as it seems to be like. Uh, let's see if we have the Power Director installed here. Yes, we have it. Now, Power Director is like, well, I don't know if you guys heard about Cyber Director, but about Cyber League, my bad, um, but they have quite of, uh, a very good um, video editor. Now with the uh, Power Director, um, you can pretty much do the same thing. Now, if, if you want to see it on full screen, you will be able to go to Dex Labs, force up to resize. Uh, and if you do that, uh, let's just do this. Force then that's going to restart it. 
and you will see the app is being in full screen. Again, it's not the best, best 100% experience uh, as being on a PC. And what I usually do, I tend to use it as it is. I'm not trying to force it, but again, it might work. And to be honest with you, it's kind of useful. I mean, um, you have on this power director, uh, you can add like uh, music, yeah, click on here, add it. If you want to add the second layer as an example, that can be a photo, that can be a camera, a, let's see, a cutout. I mean, there are options out there. Again, it's not it definitely it's not going to be as powerful as a PC is going to be, but you do have the options to work from a phone. And this is what I wanted to show you guys. Definitely, um, you are going to find out there uh, videos with a lot more uh, knowledge on how to use different stuff. Um, potentially, we might be thinking about um, if, of course, if you guys are going to like this one and if it's going to get enough views and likes and stuff like that, um, potentially we will be able to um, on demand, of course, to show you how to do different stuff, like uh, how to better use, uh, I don't know, the camera or how to set up the camera if you want to do like video calls and stuff like that. What you'll actually need um, if you're thinking about learning a little bit how photo director or uh, power director it's actually working um, you know how much it costs a month what's the plan and stuff like that just you know give it give us a shout and we will uh, uh, make that happen now one on top of the other I hope you guys uh, enjoy this one I hope you are going to find it useful um, again it can be a permanent solution or it can be um, just a temporary one until you are going to switch whatever stuff for the piece of technology you are using or change it or receiving it or what might happen but again it's something that you can go for it's not going to cost you anything extra because uh, again a phone it's about 1000 anyway i mean if you buy a second hand from sex as an example uh, it's like 600 pounds or something like that or 500 if you buy to if you want to buy a samsung galaxy s10 it's going to cost you 130 pounds also the or a little bit more if you get it from samsung directly uh, the dex or the docking because it kind of works with any docking station um yeah and you will be able to actually work from home like a pro Cheers guys, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, hit that bell if you actually uh, like the video and please, please, please feel free to uh, leave comments with um, options uh, that you are using, what um, programs you are using, if you are using Samsung DeX, how do you think this can be um, improved, because uh, definitely the guys from Samsung, they are uh, watching to improve it and what your ideas are and also... Um, if you like guys to see another video with um, how to use one of the apps from Samsung Dex and what was different.